Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Tarion Noah again. I'll be coming your part to teach the title how to start a blog. Now, before I started, I would like to just give a few introduction about myself. I'm Tarion Noah by name, the founder of Internet Cash Archive. Dot com is a blog where is meant for online entrepreneurs so i would love you to check it out so today let's go straight to the main thing of main deal of the day which is the 11 ultimate step guide to perfect blogging you as a beginner what are the things you need to know what are the tools what are the essential tips you need to know you need to equip yourself with before you start a blog Boom! Now we are live. I love it. Now you know you as a beginner, just starting out, or you're about to start. So you that was where you're on in this page, and this uh, you're watching this video right now. I mean, so and I've given down, I've laid down eleven ultimate steps for you to to perfect blocking. So everything you need to know has been included there. So. Here, I won't waste much of our time. I would just like to go straight to the point. So, for you to read more, you can read more on the blog. Link is down there in the description below, whereby you can read everything about this post. You will love it. So, if this post is very helpful for you, please do me a favor by liking the post and by liking the video rather, and then by subscribing to my YouTube channel. So I promise you more also awesome stuff is still coming. So now you know I don't waste much of your time by going into what the blog is. You can read much about this on the blog through the link below. So I would just like to go straight to the eleven ultimate guide. So to start a blog, you as a beginner about to start your own blog. So what are those eleven things you need to know? You need to learn stuff. You need to take so the first one is you picking a topic of focus that is that will be your calling the best blogging platform brainstorming the right domain name best web hosting package wordpress installation blog designing best wordpress plugin to consider adding content to your blog launching your blog blog promotion and then blog monetization so let's take a good look at each of those things so you as a beginner just starting now, the very first step you need to take is you picking the topic of focus. So I, I call it your calling. So don't ever make the mistake of going into blogging just because someone else is doing well in a particular niche, in a particular area of focus, and you think you can also go into that. So the main thing on step one here is let your passion drives you. So your passion is what should take you into what you should blog about. So don't blog simply because some people are really doing well in a particular niche and you just go into it. No, 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 it's not good. Don't try it. Let your full passion drive you. So step two is just the best blogging platform you can use. So now the best blogging player, several blogging platform you can use here. So and I've listed some for you. So we have the free, we have the server side, we have the blogger, we have the Tumblr, Wix, and so many other blogging platforms to use. But the best one for you is to use a self-hosted WordPress. So a self-hosted WordPress is what I would recommend for you here because it gives you the full control over your blog. You have all the control, we have everything right within you on your blog don't ever try to use a free platform it will hurt you it will hurt you so that is for step two so for step three you brainstorm the perfect domain name for your blog don't let this be a problem for you don't even think much of this the one thing you need to know here is if you're a brand if you are starting as a brand you can name your domain name you can let your domain name include your brand name and as well if you are going into a blog if you are going to, into blog you can 
you can also you can pick a domain name which is just suitable for your target audience to remember one thing i want you to know here is when you are brainstorming a domain name there are some guidelines you need to follow so the first one is the length of your domain name so the keyword stuffing picking the right extension so i would just like to go straight i will be very very fast here the length of a domain name if you are going for a web application just you know if we are going with a website or a blog that that, that that is a web application maybe like facebook for instance twitter or google or this kind of big big website so it's advisable let it be within eight characters so but if it's for your own blog maybe personal blog or a niche blog so it's advisable to let it be within 22 characters so now you can like i said the other time this video is just a short video just to sell it to you about the thing i've written for you on the website please visit the description below to read more so you know the second one is keyword stuffing where should you include your keyword in your domain name well most do because simply for seo purpose or for branding purpose like i said in the other time so but my personal view on this is just to do what is necessary if you are starting as a brand just name you can name your domain name after your company i think that would even be the best thing so and if not just find a good domain name that people will be able to remember that will be very very catchy enough for people to remember another thing i want you to consider here is what type of extension should you pick should your website or blog name or your domain name be a .com or .net i don't want you to stress yourself here you, any extension is okay for you either you are using a .com or a .net yeah, any extension you are using is very very okay for you one thing you should just be you should, con you should consider here is the content the content on your blog the content on your website and i think that's more important than the extension you know if you ask me some websites which are .net or some other extension i think i still know about problogger.net and i know about slideshare.net and some other .net website which they are very very doing they, which they are doing very very fine so here one thing i just want you to know here is when brainstorming a perfect domain name always make sure you don't confuse people with it make it short and catchy for people to easily memorize something that they can remember very very easily so that is the main thing here and for step four you register your domain name there are a lot of registrars out there you can go out to a lot of companies out there now personally tested three which have listed the name chip name chip uh of name chip uh, and as well as osgator blues is also there although i've not tested them before but i've had several reviews about them which were very very okay so you can try any of these three those three they are very very wonderful so if i'm to recommend for you i will recommend you to either choose between hostgator or blue host you know why i won't be suggesting or recommending this particular hosting for you is simply because is a local based hosting website so it might not be so suitable for you if you are outside the country where i am based in so that is why i'm very but they are very very good even friendly now as at the time of writing this post and then um, this i'm um, shooting this video the website was hosted on google host so but i'm recommending these two for you hostgator and blue host so try these two companies they are very very wonderful host keto they are very powerful wonderful hosting company and blue and blue host blue uh, blue host so i'm recommending those two for you so and the next thing here is the next tip here is installing wordpress after you've hosted your blog you've gotten the perfect domain name the next thing here is to install your wordpress and what is wordpress wordpress <coughs> sorry so wordpress is just is a very popular 
blogging platform when known for its easy installation and for content management. So there is no need for all those coding, there's no need for all this HTML stuffing and some other things. So with the help of WordPress, you can set up your blog, you can set up your content, your, your, your content and everything will be very, 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 very okay for you. So if you want to learn more about the full step of installing uh, WordPress, so I recommend you to visit the link from the website whereby you can read more on how you can install WordPress. It's very, very simple. It's something that is very, very simple. Very, very simple to do. It's just within the, within one click, you are done. So can you see, you can read more about it, it, how to use several methods to install WordPress on your hosting website. So don't take it so serious. It's something very, very easy. So the step six here is to design your blog. So, and when you are designing a blog here, yeah, you need a good WordPress team. Is, is this good WordPress team that will give your blog a new and um, professional look? So I don't encourage you to use the default team because immediately you finish the WordPress installation, there will be some team that will follow suit or not. I won't, I won't even recommend you to use them. So find a good theme you can use on your web, on your blog. So, but one thing I want you to know here, no matter the theme you are using, make sure it is fully responsive. It is fully responsive. You know, most of these days, these these days, this time around, most of the traffic is from a mobile phone from mobile users. So your theme must be mobile responsive. So and as well to aid your blog blog ranking in search engines. So that is the main thing here. So about that. So and which blog team is best for you to use? Like I said, you there are several themes you can use, especially and for instance now this particular blog was designed using focus blog team as at the time of writing. So I can change it anytime from now. So, but as from now, the blog, focus blog team is very, very okay. I love it. They are very, very wonderful. The, the team is very, very wonderful. Very clean, as you can see, and readable font. Everything is very structured. I also recommend to check it out. It's, it's, it's good. You can try that out. And for you to read about some other themes, to read about some wonderful, responsive themes you can use, I encourage you to visit this link here, so which will take you down here. To where you can see a lot of themes so which you can pick the one that suits your business the most so there are a lot of teams out there so i encourage you to visit this link so and where can you get a good wordpress team where you almost want to learn if, if you are buying this team so there is a company i always recommend for my readers, so which is Team Forest. So, Team Forest, I love them so much. So, they have thousands upon thousands of teams that you can use. So, you can search for any theme of your choice. So, once you are able to determine or you are able to uh, get the team you want to use. The next thing I will suggest for you is to come down to Team Forest, search for the team, then you buy, you buy it, and you can install the team on your <coughs> WordPress website. So just I encourage you to just visit this website and visit this the link I've I've given in the article in the in the article so that you can read more about. It. Teams. So now the next thing is the essential plugins you need to install when starting out. So there are a lot of plugins, there are a lot of plugins, and what are plugins are just like a software that can be uploaded to expand the functionality of the WordPress website. There are a lot of plugins. So 
and the type of business or the type of blog you will be running is also the determinant for the type of plugin you install on your WordPress blog. So, and I also want you to know one thing here: you can only install plugin if you are on a self-hosted WordPress blog. There is no free platform, no free plugin platform that will allow you to install a plugin. So that's why I recommend you to go for self-hosted WordPress blog. So the essentials out of all the blogs, I only picked the best four. That is which are very very essential for your business, no matter the business you you are doing or you will be doing. So this four is a must install plugin for your jetpack. So for you to track the growth of your website, the traffic coming to your website, image optimization, website performance, site security, appearance, and a lot of wonderful things this plugin can do for you. So you need this jet you need this plugin called Jetpack. And the second one, Askimat, is used to protect your WordPress security. So it's bigger it is basically and that is spam plugin which checks all the comment and filter, filters out the spamming content so it blocks all those spamming content from your post and the third one is Helios it's a very very wonderful plugin I so much love this plugin so I also encourage you to go for this plugin so and then to be able to that catch with this with the help of this plugin you speed up the your you speed up your website speed by 60% or more so I encourage you to get to check all those plugins out and also I've also provided a source for remember you can read more about several wonderful plugins that might be of interest to you and your business so visit the link here so so yeah you can read more on several plugins that might be of use for you so I encourage you to visit the link so then the next thing here is adding content to your blog anytime once you've installed the necessary plugins and everything is well set okay, so it's time to start adding content to your blog but before you start posting writing articles upon articles on your website there are some important pages which must be on your website so we have the privacy uh, okay we have the about me page that is this where you let people know about your store about your website about you as the name of the blog about me the contact me page the contact me page the privacy policy terms of service disclaimer and so and some other wonderful pages you can think of so you need to write them and put them on your website so that people can get to know what you are after what you or your business is all about so then step nine you launching your blog you know at this stage is the time to let this is the perfect time to let people know about your website when your blog has been set up so what are the things they should be expected from your blog but one thing is to launch your blog you have to take note of certain things one who are your audience your target audience like if you're gonna ask me internet cash archive is basically made for online entrepreneurs people who are interested in creating wealth from themselves online so everybody can learn a lot of things that will make them grow in their businesses online so i know my audience right from time so you have to define the right audience for your blog so this makes it very easy for you to focus on the right people you know the right people your content is basically meant to serve so that is that about that and the second one is you have to write innovative content well virtually it might be virtually impossible to write or to come up with a new content these days a new article something some uh, article or content that people has never talked about so it might be impossible i'm not saying it's not it's not possible but it is virtually impossible but you know one thing here as a blogger is you have to come out with your own content in a unique 
way in a unique dimension you have to put your own thoughts you have to put your own view you have to put your personality into your blog so because all this is all that makes you this is what differentiates you from other bloggers out there so please check the link like i said to read more about everything here so then the third one is add valuable content regularly so keep updating you update your blog every time either weekly basis or daily basis or monthly basis so don't leave the blog alone and and leave it for a while before close be consistent about your blog about your post be consistent about things you write so then the last one here is you have to build a relationship as with your with your audience you have to build a relationship with the with your readers so you know they are the people that are using your content they are the people following you up they are the people reading about the stuff you have for them once you publish once you post a toy or you once you publish a post so they are the one that reads about your content so you have to build a very close relationship with these people so and from there you can get to know some other wonderful content that they want so once you build a very close once you build a close relationship with them you are building a solid trust between you and the readers and it's very very easy for you to sell to them in the future that like anytime you have a product to sell and the last step here is the blog promotion aspect so you have to know now that your content you have now have your content on your website so don't only depend on google don't depend on the, they rank your website so take your stuff out there to people let people know about your stuff let them read you promote to them and I've, i may mention some certain ways by which you can promote your blog whether you can drive traffic to your blog so so I, I gave I only gave a few methods which the first one you write a good content once a good content will always promote itself so once you write a good a good content that solves people's problem people get to share then second one you link your content to popular blogs in your niche so from your article from what you're writing from your content you you link to popular blogs and from there they link back to you and from there you are getting good backlinks you are getting and this makes you get around from search engines and the third one is you have to share to your social networks and get people to read so once you publish an article or you publish a post try to share it on your profile on facebook profile your pain interest your twitter your google instagram linkedin and some other social platforms like that so and there's a particular a website that can help you to schedule your posting and make it so much easier it saves you a lot of stress so the name of this website is Buffa. so so the name of the website is Buffa. so Buffa helps you to schedule your post with as it takes care of all the sharings and some things that you have to go through manually so you can check them out so you can check the files out so and another thing here is to make your content shareable make it shareable yeah, you can and you can do that with the help of plugging like you can see right from the website here you can, you can see so something like this so that it makes it very very easy for people to share your store as you are reading now let, let's move on to guess or if you have to visit the website right now and you, and you have to read you have you will find this content very helpful so it, it should be very easy for you to share with any of the four platforms i've just listed here so make your content shareable so and with the help of some plugins you can do that so just click on this link there it will take you there and the fifth one is you post to popular facebook groups and pages that are related to the stuff you're writing about so i don't think there is much to say here so once you publish your content find popular groups and facebook pages that is related to your blog or to related to what you're writing about 
and share it to them from there you get people to your website then the sixth one is blog comment with the relevant link so it's another means to drive traffic to your blog what you just have to do here right is to simply find a website or blog or bit from talking about relevant topics in your niche so let's say and luckily for you you're able to write a post or you're able to write some good content about the questions being asked there so what you just have to do is to comment there answer their question and put your link at the comment below put your link at the footer of your <coughs> of your post and from the from there you get people to your website and the seventh one is guest blogging where it's also it's otherwise also known as guest posting so you know one thing is what you just have to do here is to write a quality content so it must be an informative one about a particular topic so and you thereby leave your link and foot out the post as the source so what you just have to do right here is to go to search engine or any means for you to find some top blogs authority blogs or website that is related to the stuff you are writing about or you just written about so ask them if they accept guest post posting in their website if yes boom you are good to go though most of all these authority websites most of them at times might not accept but i bet it with you that few will still do few will still answer once you have a good content so once if this is properly done well definitely you can tell us of free traffic to your blog and the last one are some other platforms you have although i've talked about them that you can still use i believe you have a twitter account you have a pin interest account either personal or business linkedin flipboard google plus also try and share your content on these platforms so share your content on these platforms so and now for other advanced method you know i've just i've only listed the three ways by which you can promote your blog for other advanced method please reference to this link so click on the link the link talks more about other methods whereby you can promote the advanced way you can promote your store so and um, they are very very lovely so please check them out check them out so it's very very wonderful and the step 11 here is monetizing your blog this is the sweetest part right you know making money from your blog so there are several ways by which you can do this so once you've started a blog and your blog is beginning to grow in size beginning to grow in traffic beginning to grow in searches and so many other things like that so then it's time for you to make some money with your blog so you can start with advertising so i think this is something you know about you know when you want to visit a website at this right sidebar or the left sidebar you see some advert whereby it talks about some things that might be of interest to you so so the same thing also to you as a blogger so you can sign up with some companies a popular company to sign up with is google accent so well, i think they have some rules and some regulations which you need which you need to adhere to or they have uh, <coughs> They have um, there must be certain things you need to do before you are accepted. But in case you are not accepted at first, so don't let that bore you down. So try other websites like Media.net and some other alternatives. Yeah, I've written about them, so they will help you. So you can sign up with them and you can get paid once there's a click or a view or you can pay per view or per click or whatever. So the second one is selling digital product on your blog. It might be an ebook, it might be printables, it might be an online course or whatever. So sell it them on your blog. So you know, once people come to your blog to read about stuff, get to know about these things, then if it's of interest to them, then they, they buy. So and then third one is sponsor post. So you know. Now that you are becoming or you become 
an established and authorized blog so people will always love to come to your blog for some sponsor post that is you can write about their company you can write about their product through a post or if they are just starting out maybe you can be a brand or a product which also need uh, exposure so they pay you and you make your money and the last one here is also very very common affiliate marketing so it's just a process whereby you promote other people's products or services through your own blog so you make money through affiliate sales once there is a sale through a particular coded link given to you you make money so but i would suggest you start with i ticket offers very 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 wonderful very very wonderful start with i ticket offers so that is what i mean by i ticket offers are some companies or some product that pays very very well from 500 or from 200 dollars upward so you can sign up with them i've listed some for you here so please visit the link and read more on that so i think that will be all for now so please thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video to this level so i really appreciate it so i will love you more if you can give me a thumb up at least to encourage me for more awesome videos like it so like this and i also like to see you subscribe to my channel so i have a lot of awesome stores that i'll be publishing soon so and i don't want you not to take part in this so please subscribe to my channel a lot of vulnerable goodies are coming so and also there will be a link to our home page so where you can get a lot of stops a lot of wonderful stops you as an entrepreneur as an online entrepreneur if you're just starting out i recommend you to check this page check www.internetcasharchive.com so the link is also in the description below so here we have a lot of trainings and offers that will really help you so and our goal this year is to help 10,000 business minded persons to go from zero to multiple stream of income online so i will advise you to also check this page out we have a lot of trainings that will be of help to you so check it out www.internetcasharchives.com so we'll also be updating this page as time goes on so thank you very much once again remember to subscribe to our channel you are awesome all right thank you very much bye